Ciao, hello fam. Welcome back to another. Welcome back to another cooking episode. Sunday morning. Um, welcome to our old subscribers and also to our new subscribers. So, uh, just on my way to the kitchen now to see what's in store for tonight today. Hope you guys enjoy the content today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, share our channel. See you soon. Sausage, fish, and I think we've got uh, soup bones in the fridge. I'm just gonna go check now. The chicken that kept on interrupting on our last uh, cooking episode. Unfortunately, um, he was doomed because you know recording content is not easy. So the chicken had to pay a price, and uh, today the chicken is the price. And then after that, been, yeah. And then we've got the spicy sausages and then the fish for loka. What's he there? Just uh, working on uh, some uh, last minute uh, palaya lingi just to cure the hangover. Had a bit uh, too much to drink last night, so we're gonna quickly get this. Um, onto the oven and get it cooking because there's quite a lot to do so stay tuned just uh, push uh, what is uh, hung over for like a lady to the side because um, I need to get the soup onto the heat the reason why um, I started on the soup first um, is because just so that uh, there's enough time for the um, so this first part is to quickly defrost it and then we'll pour out the water and then add water again but then I just wanted to get started because it takes a long time for the, the soup bones to break down um, so it becomes nice and soft so that uh, the kids can eat so put a lid on that and then uh, start see, see this guy that one might be on the next episode but the last episode chicken I kept making noise in the back yeah, had to suffer the price. So just got back from the store. Um, went to my went to grab some oh, my moi for the luau. And uh, just had a last minute addition to our menu today. Is the crabs? Um, it's 
were some crabs we bought uh, from uh, on the side of the road where people sell them. Five bucks a crab. So yeah, gonna do that for the fight eight today. Stay tuned, guys. Um, it's starting to look a lot busier than I thought. Get started on the chicken. Um, so this chicken uh, is the local chicken that keeps, uh, that's usually roaming around in my videos on cooking Sundays or any day of the week here at the house. So it's not imported um, and it's uh, it's a favorite of our elderly, more so that's why uh, we thought um, might as well use the chicken um, and save money from buying chicken from the store. So. Because we've got heaps of chicken, we thought we might do two uh, for this Sunday. But we've got four more in the fridge for the rest of the week. Now, usually, Samoans love to do uh, with this local chicken is use it for soup, soup or more Samoan. But for today, we're going to roast it, um, but not a dry roast, but more like steamed inside foil. Um, and then roast it so it's uh, we want to put into the oven soon because uh, we want it to get real tender um, when it's time to eat because they do have a history of being quite tough so I want to give it that time for it uh, to soften and also for it can so it can be tender uh, we're going to throw in some onions some garlic um, for flavor and seasoning um, but on the outside, there'll be there there will be no seasoning apart from salt. The onion, the garlic ready um, for stuffing chicken for fragrance. But uh, this guy showed up. I think words got out that uh, I think words got out that a member of the chicken community has been slaughtered. So yeah, now they can go tell the other chicken uh, not to interrupt during uh, our cooking episodes. Uh, stuffing the chicken with the garlic and onion um, as you can see we're not cleaning the garlic um, entirely and mostly because um, it's just for seasoning and flavor so once the chicken is ready we can just take it out but we want it to we want that garlic and onion flavor to become quite aromatic quality <laughs> Garlic and onion, garlic and onion in the butt. Now we're gonna lay the foil and then uh, season it to salt and then into the oven.
chicken. Um, already got the oven preheated to about 180. Now I'm gonna put them in and let them cook all the way up until the time um, that we eat. now um, and then uh, add some water so that uh, we can uh, clean them later on. Edward um, that commented on our previous video why don't you cook the umu and the chicken at the same time so though it's not the roast chicken that I usually do in the pan um, but I'm trying it now to so see I want to give this a go because it's like you know two birds with one stone like literally two birds two birds Guys, comment comment down below if you have any suggestions of any way I can improve the cooking that you might know. Uh, I enjoy reading you guys' comments and uh, it does help me. So yeah, love the feedback. So I'm not sure what kind of crab is this. Comment down below if you know what kind of crab is this. Um, if it's a freshwater crab or I'm not sure if these are freshwater crabs. Again, just finished uh, changing the water for the uh, for the soup. So now, also uh, need to get started on the veggies for the soup, and the spicy sausage, and the and the fish. So, what he's doing a his uh, signature dish um, that he won with. Uh, uh, local uh, cooking and this is the Maupa Umamui so that and that will go in the oven let's go watch look at the knife skills look at the knife so this is uh, what is uh, favorite dish um, he's won multiple um, local awards with this dish uh, it's a favorite for our family as well so uh what is gonna work on that well i take a break and then uh come back in after so just getting the vegetables ready for the soup to we'll see how what he prepares is uh See, plucks the tip of the taro leaf. And arranges, arranges it uh, so that nothing falls out. Sort of like a, a large grip or hand that holds everything like that. So, not much seasoning uh, apart from salt, pepper, and onions. Wow, it's 
really nice watch. Three already from Wati. Still a lot more to go. Uh, spicy sausage is on uh, the heat on the oven now. Um, soup. It's uh, not yet time for the veggies. Wait till it gets a bit tender. Chicken and umu almost ready. Uh, we've still got veggies for the soup. The Oka and the crab left. Uh, 9.43 at the moment, so crunch time. So I'm not sure if there's a specific way of cleaning this kind of crab, but I'm usually used to just taking this off, uh, the back end here, and then uh, giving that a nice clean along, as well as, as the, uh, around the legs and stuff. So uh, hopefully it's the same thing. So just finished removing the back ends, this bit here of the crabs. Um, that's the only thing I'm sure you have to remove, but uh, comment down below if uh, there's uh, something else to remove. But I wanted to mention, this crab is a lot furrier. Um, it's got a lot more of these hairs um, as opposed to the other crabs I usually cook. So I'm not sh quite sure what type of crab is this. Um, but yeah, oh, wasting a lot of the uh, the good stuff. It's coming out, so gotta quickly get on this. ready I'm um, just waiting on the coconut cream from Wati and then uh, should be set to go I'm gonna put a lid over that for now and um, check up on these other stuff I think I'm pretty sure the Omo is ready I'm just gonna switch it up a bit um, get it so uh, just threw in the pasta um, soup is looking really good now um, was working on the uh, coconuts for the yoka and uh, the uh, crab so um, I told you guys about the fish that we're doing for the yoka. it's called Pokmolo um, that's not the actual name of the fish but we call it Pokmolo which uh, simply means hard skin because the skin of the fish is quite hard so we have to try and tear that off first before we do the yoka. But yeah, um, we've got about 45 minutes until church finishes. Um, I think it's just the crab lift and the oka. Everything else is uh, on its way to being cooked. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can show the result this time because we actually missed out on a lot of these results at the end um, because it gets quite stressful, as you know. Um, it does feel like an episode of MasterChef, so, I mean, Hell's Kitchen, MasterChef, doesn't matter. Anyway, um, fingers crossed we make it. So, uh, just took the umu out of the oven. Umu is ready. Very nice. See, so the result is still good, still similar, if you do it um, in the traditional way, in the umu kuka. But we are up for this one because it's a lot uh, easier. What do you there, quickly getting the coconut cream for the for butter and it's a very nice wati oh yeah 
the scope. So uh, we're, uh, I think we're still on time, but it all depends on how we go on this last uh, strip. <laughs> Uh, we've got uh, once what is finished with the um, coconut cream uh, he'll get while I quickly um, get the crab onto the oven so what you do just finish with the coconut cream so now we're gonna add it into the crab and we'll save that one for Loka this is good that uh, hopefully 10 to 15 minutes look at that oh that's just beautiful so crab on the oven uh on the stove what's he almost done and uh I think uh, we should be ready soon for the chicken. So, let's see they finish cleaning the fish. Um, adding the coconut cream for the oka. And then, uh, gonna add a bit of lemon to that. Check my crab. Sheesh! Oh, that looks good. So turning off uh, the soup and uh, I think uh, we're done. Alright fam, so finally made it to the end. Um, really it was a real struggle, uh, especially trying to get it um, done in time. Um, it's 5 to 11 now, so we're pretty much done uh, for the cooking episode today. Everything has been cooked on time and uh, yeah, it was... Uh, one of those rushes but uh just wanted to finally show you guys the result for today's cooking episode um it's uh looks amazing so right here hope you guys enjoy it let's start from this side we've got the luau mamoy as you can see there the mamoy in there looks really good uh, with the taro leaves then we've got the oka uh, can't wait to get into that fish with coconut cream and lemon on the side squeeze inside we've got the soup just look at that broth man uh, with pumpkin carrots and potatoes we've got the crab uh, that was in coconut cream arumu taro and our sausages spicy sausages finishing it off with the chicken bro this is tender right now honestly fam looks good so yeah a very good turnout today um, made it right in, uh, uh, along with time so uh, we're gonna get this uh, taken to and uh, prepare for tonight so hope you guys enjoyed the content today I know me and Wati uh, enjoy making them as well uh, make sure to give uh, the video a thumbs up comment subscribe down below and uh, yeah hope to see you guys on the next episode uh, until then stay blessed and uh, God bless thanks guys Oh, 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 oh,